Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, we will talking about basic steps in real user monitoring, and we will also discuss benefits of real user monitoring and limitations of real user monitoring. So, real user monitoring examines the ease of user interactions on the cloud, mobile, or web-based applications. It then produces a performance report that can be used to troubleshoot and fix identified infrastructure or user issues. It allows the capturing of live sessions and several monitoring of user experience. Experience across several tiers. With it, we can monitor which pages the customer visited, examines response times, and see when and where certain page malfunctioned. Malfunctioned. First is data capture. It captures details about requests for pages, sessions, and other resources from the browser to web servers, even when the requested certain is hosted on other sites. Next one is sensitizations. The capture of data are regathered into a record containing pages, components, and timing information for each visit. Next one is problem detections any unusual behavior such as slow response times system problems web navigation errors and other malfunctions are analyzed for different pages objects and visits next one is individual visit reporting as you can see in your screen the captured data are used to report the individual visits with some application we can see exactly what the user saw or with others we see a summary of the data our uh, next one is reporting and segmentations. Aggregated data can be used to identify page availability and performance across different browsers and user segments. Next one is alerting. The system activates an alert mechanism whenever a series issues is spotted. Then we can discuss benefits of real user monitoring. Real user monitoring can help identify how page visitors are using a site or app. It also provides page metrics such as load time for analysis of a page, objects, and even individual visits, major service level targets easily. It awards real world measurement of key targets by tracking actual visits and delivering top level data on actual use case, easily identify problems, and better prioritize issues. It can replay user sessions and track transactions paths to solve hidden problems determined hitches at the network and page level. Problems at the lower levels of a website can hide like needles in a high stacks. It can spot like these problems even when they are intermittent in nature or based on real conditions. Next one is limitations of real user monitoring. As you can see in your screen, for all its benefits, real user monitoring does have several limitations. Combining the process with synthetic monitoring files the gaps nicely. Uh, next one is lack of benchmarking. Real user monitoring is unable to examine your competitor's website. That means benchmarking your site's performance against others is difficult. Next one is effectiveness in pre-production settings is limited. It's not that Real user monitoring doesn't work in pre-production settings. It works just fine. Most customers simply don't have a lot of traffic in those settings. Too much data, some user complains that shifting through the survey of data provides can be doubting even for some of the better uh, pre-packed tools on the market. So that's all from this video of limitations of real user monitoring and benefits of real user monitoring and basic steps in user real user monitoring and always see in the next video with interesting topic. Thank you guys for watching this video and guys you can also check out my dynamic certification course link is in description guys. Thank you guys.